Let's get right to it. You have enough to worry about. Our society has become neurotic. Half the people are on antidepressants and the other half are on anti-anxiety drugs. I'm on both because I don't want to be left out. Listen carefully. The idea of artificial generalized intelligence or artificial sentience is something you don't need to worry about. To those who work in the real world, it's a joke. Andrew Ng's comments about it are really important. If you don't know who Andrew Ng is, he's one of the foremost researchers on Earth in the artificial intelligence space. He recently said, there's a big difference between intelligence and sentience. There could be a race of killer robots in the far future, but it's like worrying about the overpopulation of Mars. What he's saying is that Terminators might happen in the future, but not in our lifetime or not anytime soon. All right, let's take a step back for a moment. Recently, an ill-informed member of Google's AI responsibility team, which is in itself a laughable group within Google, made a comment about a chatbot becoming sentient. What's sentience? Sentience is the capacity to experience feelings or sensations. It's also been used to mean becoming self-aware. The media loves a good scare story about AI, so this comment is everywhere. Google suspended him, and I hope they're going to fire him. We have enough ill-informed fear mongers in the world. We don't need any inside the top tech companies. Andrew Ng made another important comment about sentience and generalized artificial intelligence. He said, those of us on the front line shipping code, we're excited about AI, but we don't see a realistic path for our software to become sentient. Did you catch the meta message there? It was subtle. Those of us on the front line, meaning those of us in the real world who know what we're talking about, shipping real code, not celebrities or other media personalities. Don't see this as possible. As someone who's written all the top models in the real world from scratch, I can tell you it's all code. And the code is not that advanced. And it's certainly not intelligent or sentient. If you think I'm wrong or ill-informed, then show me the code or application you think is self-aware, and I'll be happy to destroy your argument. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.